Well, it's official. On multiple occasions now, CNN has promoted and defended what is basically a domestic terrorist organization that targets the Democrat Party's political opposition. Hmm, that's interesting because CNN also targets the political opposition of the Democrat Party. This is a serious accusation, so let's back it up by looking at the definition of terrorism. Terrorism is the unlawful use of violence and intimidation, especially against civilians, in the pursuit of political aims. Said he weren't allowed to speak at Berkeley. He should, should he not be allowed, be allowed to, to speak, to speak in corner. public to spread his racist and misogynistic and homophobic lies. No, he does not have the right to do that. This perfectly describes Antifa, who uses violence to shut down political speech they don't like. They justify this by simply calling themselves anti-fascists, which of course means that whoever they're using violence against is a de facto fascist. This is a transparent and stupid justification, and yet we find this supposedly credible news organization constantly giving cover to this group. Do you approve of fascism? No. Then you could consider yourself Antifa if you chose to. Just look at that face. Clearly this dopey looking human gopher hybrid is a fountain of wisdom that just needs to be taken seriously. Notice this idiotic tactic of asking the CNN host if he's against fascism. It's the same stupid tactic third wave feminists use when they ask if you believe in equality. The definition just means that people are equal. Yes, of course, I'm for equality and against fascism, but things aren't as black and white as that, and just because I'm for equality doesn't mean that I'm on board with your far-left ideology. They want to discuss Antifa based on these very simplistic standards because it's then easier to rationalize using violence against anyone that you call a fascist. We're supposed to completely ignore that Antifa looks, sounds, and acts like fascists simply because they call themselves anti-fascist. It's just dumb. But of course, this educated, objective, truth-seeking CNN host is going to dig just a little bit deeper and expose the hypocrisy of using violence to silence speech you don't like. Right? Oh. I love that these are, uh... I know. I like that. <laughs> Can I put your yeah. on? I, want to add a... right. okay. I usually have a couple of those on me, just in case. Just, uh, just in case. Well then, apparently it's cool to promote the use of illegal brass knuckles and knives on your political opposition. I mean, really, imagine this for a second. CNN produces a positive promotional interview with a Proud Boy in which the Proud Boy displays illegal weapons and brags about how he's going to use them on his political opposition. Yeah, that's never going to happen. Who the hell is this gender studies Oompa Loompa going to attack with these weapons in the first place? She would just end up getting herself knocked out or worse and then would no doubt turn around and play the victim so that the media could produce a bunch of hit pieces against conservatives and the right. This guy just ran at these two girls, and so they were both wearing hijabs. I, I picked him up, like, off the ground, and I threw him on the ground, and then I just jumped on him, and I started, like, punching him. And everyone clapped. Give me a fucking break. That never happened. At no time did a proud boy randomly attack a couple Muslim girls wearing hijabs. At no time did this walking sausage pick up a proud boy, throw him to the ground, and begin punching him. That never happened. Even the CNN host is like, It's not easy to imagine you in the streets punching a proud boy in the face. This just goes to show how completely delusional these people are. She's a LARPer who's role playing a Nazi killer. With all the talk from the left and the Democrats and the media about foreign influence of our democracy, they sure are blind to the fact that it's they who are actually carrying out the wishes of Vladimir Putin. The guy who put the famous Steele dossier together, Christopher Steele, even admitted that it was likely all Russian disinformation for the purposes of sowing discord in the United States. Vladimir Putin is a Soviet communist communist. His flag is the hammer and sickle flag. Antifa marches with the hammer and sickle flag. Isn't it interesting that for all the time CNN spends defending Antifa, they never ever mention or show pictures of Antifa marching with the hammer and sickle flag. Another thing, there are no communists in the Republican Party or on the right. It's a left-wing ideology. You can go to any anti-Trump or Democrat rally and you're going to find people with hammer and sickle flags or people promoting communism. So ask yourself, who is it really that is playing into the hands of Vladimir Putin? Antifa is anti-fascism, but in the world of politics, where does it land on our left-right spectrum? It doesn't. Go down to the bottom left. That's where you find anarcho-communism, which is the political ideology I have now. 
trying to think of who's a moderate Republican. Yeah, you heard the CNN host right. He said that Antifa doesn't fall to the left or right on the political spectrum. How convenient. Hilariously, the Antifa member then goes on to describe the group as as far left as you can get anarcho-communism. The host then inexplicably starts bashing Republicans as extreme as he's interviewing a weaponized, admittedly violent, far-left communist. Nothing says apple pie American like anarcho-communism. In fact, they should call the cops before she hurts some innocent person that she thinks is a Nazi because she saw him get the AOK -okay sign. But then again, we are talking about Kamau Bell. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy my content and you want to support this channel, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon or sending a donation through PayPal. Thanks. I appreciate it.